Hello, I'm Luxa Kana and today I'm building an Oasis Springs again. I'm building a community lot, a nice little swimming pool to be precise. I built this before the bunk bed update came out and I had a lot of fun. I knew about what I wanted to do. I knew that I wanted to have these pillars that I'm building there and I knew that I wanted to make the build look like it belongs into Oasis Springs. I built this build for the legacy save file, the first legacy episode will go up on sun uh, Sunday and I hope you will enjoy that one. I had a lot of fun recording it and I also had a lot of fun building this one. I just have a lot of fun, especially when editing. <laughs> I have recorded the first two episodes of the Legacy Let's Play by now and I will upload them always on Sundays and you will as usual get your speed build on Wednesdays. And yeah, I also now have the Bust the Dust kit, but since I already recorded the first two episodes, you will see it in action the first time in the third episode of the Let's Play. I'm planning on building some more community lots because I really like building community lots and I feel like there are not that many good community lots as is in the game already. So if you guys want to see a specific community lot built next, tell me, I would love to hear about it. I feel like my editing skills are definitely improving. I started to learn some hotkeys and it makes editing a little more smooth, especially in Fairlight when recording the voiceover right now. And yeah, now I'm doing the roof for this one since Oasis Springs for me is more of a modern kind of world. I tried to make it, you know, look modern and fancy and a little bit different than what you would usually see. So I made the roof curved and I gave the uh, whole house like a really vibrant color and all that. I used a lot of platforms in this build and this time they actually haven't been a pain in the you know what, which was exciting to say the least. Also it was kind of easier to ex uh, decide on wallpaper this time because I kind of knew what I was going for already. So that was fun too. Building pools in The Sims I always felt like is a little bit more difficult because you do want to have like a large pool with a swimming area where your Sims can go to. You want to have maybe other skill building items or maybe house there where they can go to the toilet or get some food or whatever. So it is really a little bit difficult to like find a good balance between a house for the swimming pool and the swimming pool itself and I think the balance kind of worked here because uh, the house itself is kind of small. The swimming pool is very big but the house looks a lot bigger than it actually is because of the platforms and because of what will later be a little terrace on the roof. I will also decide to add a little sauna in this build because I kind of feel like a lot of swimming pools, especially in Germany, they just have the sauna attached or maybe it's just because I'm living in an area where you have a lot of hot springs naturally. So. I don't know. I just felt like including a little sauna in Oasis Springs. I think that would be really nice. Deciding on doors and windows for this build was kind of easy because I knew I wanted to go for my modern style. So I kind of already knew which doors and windows I wanted to use. Mostly my go-to doors and windows for modern stuff. And yeah, now I'm starting to actually build the pool alongside of the columns and all that. And you see that I already made a little pathway that kind of connects to the pathway on the other side. And for some reason that platform didn't want to work there. I have no idea what bug that was. Tell me if you know. And then I decided to connect a little pathway with a little bridge. And that bridge, you see the stairs have been uh, really friendly to me. So I had a little bit of a struggle with that one. And then I decided to also add a waterfall later on where I'm now building a huge platform, which complicated the whole stairs thing so much <laughs> and so unnecessarily. <laughs> but I figured it out eventually, so I got that going for me. <laughs> also a little pro tip, if for some reason fences don't want to work, just use the spade, uh, the light strap that you can put on the floor because it kind of looks like a fence. So whenever you're like on the edge of a lot or where I was under stairs, you can just put that thing, pretend it's a fence and have a little bit of a more ending to areas that you put into your builds. By now you can see the basic idea I had for the build in mind because now I have placed the pool and I have placed the little staircase and everything. So you now know what I had in mind and now that I'm adding the big terrace you also know what I mean when I said that the house is a lot smaller than it looks because the terrace really looks big and just adds a lot of volume to the whole build and I feel like it kind of uh, gets the whole 
swimming pool uh, and puts it uh, together because now it looks like it has a good balance between swimming pool and house although it's a lot more swimming pool than house also petition to get more swatches for the roof trim because the swatch levels are too damn low like half the time the color swatches on the roof trim aren't even good for example here i wanted to have like a more orangey one but that didn't work also this trick that you're now seeing is from little simsy you basically put a foundation piece on top of your roof to be able to add like the black roof trim under it because for some reason the normal roof trim wouldn't apply here so i just did this one which worked out just as well in the end. It's just that you have to know you have to place a foundation piece before you can place the trim. The next major thing I'm going to do is do a little bit more of landscaping and putting some fences down. I had a rough idea what I wanted when I started to uh, do the landscaping so that's why I started with a little bit of fencing everywhere to sort of make my idea more visualized so when I now start to actually landscape I can do it uh, more easily and what I also wanted next to the pool was a little bit of a different area and I was kind of deciding do I want to have more of a kids area or do I want to have like a little uh, onsen and I ended up using a kids area which will end up making this venue very very kids friendly so you're welcome since I already resta uh, started recording the legacy episodes I can definitely tell you that this venue does work it is really fun to visit but it is definitely a venue that is even better when you visit it with kids because your adults might you know they have a little bit of stuff to do but they don't have as much stuff to do as the kids like this really is a venue for kids and i'm kind of really proud of that you don't get that a lot in the sims so as i was building here i thought that next to the kids area uh, there needs to be a hedge and i thought this might be the perfect opportunity to finally use that llama hedge in a really cool way in a way that makes sense and in a way that doesn't look any weird or something and now I'm starting to work on the eye catcher feature of the pool, which is going to be that waterfall that came with Island Living. And my idea was we don't really have things like slides or anything in The Sims we could put in a public pool. But like in real life, you usually always have slides and pools and stuff. So I thought, well, at least put a cool water feature like a waterfall there because, you know, especially modern pools they just they just have that it's it's cool and you know you can pretend it's a water slide also when you're working with exactly this waterfall you often times when you still added something around the pool the waterfall might disappear i think i placed this waterfall a total of three or four times because it just kept disappearing when i was editing something on the lot so my tip is place this waterfall last. Either that or get yourself the mod from T Twisted Maxi where things don't delete randomly. Coincidentally that mod is one of the few mods by Twisted Maxi that I don't have in my game and I'm still considering whether or not I should finally install it. It sometimes is really really handy especially when you're working with waterfalls a lot or when you're working with platforms a lot because sometimes when you use the platforms they delete themselves and stuff like that but yeah as you can see i'm continuing to landscape i'll use a lot of that one hatch and i try to get a little bit of oasis springs vibe in here with some cacti and some of the island living plants looking at the waterfall and all that was around it though i thought that something was still missing so i decided to put a f another floating platform above the pool and this time I wanted to put a hot tub on it and I know this is kind of a crazy concept having a hot tub on top of a pool but I thought it looked really really cool and it just gave the pool a little bit of something more although I had a really really long argument with those stairs for some reason they just didn't want to be placed so in that case if you have the problem too uh, my recommendation is to basically go down a layer and basement room since it is easier to just build a basement room downstairs then try to fiddle with the pool to somehow make it disappear because sometimes pools can be a real pain in the you know what. I really thought including the struggle would be a good opportunity to explain how to deal with that because uh, the room system is kind of weird sometimes because if I would have put a platform or a foundation piece it wouldn't have worked the way I did it now. What I did was basically I put a room on the level of the pool and since I did it on the level of the pool it was like a basement under and under the 
floating platforms so I could connect them with stairs and I could even make them overlap because for some reason the stairs wouldn't like to be placed if it wasn't like really really close to each other. I have no idea what the hell was going on there but that is the fix if you need it. And at this point I was kind of satisfied with the outside area but I thought a little bit of something is still missing. So I put these rooms downstairs and put uh, palm trees above them and what I then did was I used the sp I think spade stony goodness slab is it because this thing basically floats on water when you put it down so you don't have to raise it up and it looks kind of cool and it looks a little bit like a little pathway and I thought it was really really nice and then I just put down some lights and I put down some nice fountains because you usually get them when you're in a more modern style pool and I thought it looked really really nice and then I started to basically furnish the outs outside area I think I can call it furnished because I'm putting furniture down, right? Right? So yeah, your adult sims can get themselves a nice sunburn while their toddlers can play in the nice toddler area and the kids can just jump into the water for joy. I later also add one of those uh, jumping things from get together so your sims can actually really jump into the water and do tricks and stuff. And now I will add some stuff on the inside. I will add the saunas that I was talking about earlier and I will try to add a staircase and I also will add like a toilet upstairs and I will add toilets downstairs. And yeah, my idea for the staircase was to kind of make a bunch of couches that like are around the staircase and uh, like have a little half wall separating it. And I wanted to have an open staircase and you know, open staircases in the Sims, they love to be tricky. So these ones were tricky too, but in the end it worked out and it's functional. I tested it. Promised. Also for some reason the cat just randomly decided to be really loud in the kitchen so I'm really sorry if that's like hearable in the recording. Since I wanted the upstairs area to be a little bit more of a sauna area I decided to add some showers and add you know an own bathroom so when your sims get out of the sauna they can get a cool shower and then they can like sit on the couches and relax or go outside in the sun and relax there thought that would be a really really nice touch and of course you get my four trash cans as usual. Also since my legacy episode was pre-recorded I kind of didn't get the chance to say it but happy Easter of course. I guess that's something that should be said so happy Easter and stuff. Since this is a community lot I also added a bunch of trash cans and I will add some more umbrellas so that even the kids and toddlers when they're playing in the area they will also have a little bit of shadow over their heads so they don't get any sunburn and stuff like that. So your kids will be safe here. Since I have a bunch of free time lately, I started to play Animal Crossing again and I'm at December now. I really need to play more and to get back to the actual date instead of still being stuck at like the 14th of December. But yeah, as you can see in the build, I'm adding lights as usual, some more custom lights that look a little bit more interesting than the normal lights. So when you play with all the walls up, the build will look a little bit more interesting to you. And of course, I added my favorite plant from Get Famous. I still can't believe that this plant is in Get Famous because it's so good and I do not like Get Famous at all. But yeah, I'm also adding some island living curtains and I'm painting the walls. And yeah, that's basically the upstairs done, adding some lights and that's it. And now I'm basically moving on to the downstairs part. And on the downstairs, my thought was I need another bathroom that is a little bigger because just one toilet and like four showers, that's not cutting it. So I put a bigger bathroom area in here. I scooted the toilets a little bit together so you sims have a little bit more space. And I also managed to squeeze in two more showers downstairs. Later, I will also put some shower curtains for the showers there so your sims can have a little bit of privacy. And for those who have a keen eye, they will surely spot that I actually put a fire extinguisher next to the bathroom again in case your sims have an angry poop and set the whole thing on fire again. That happens somehow way too often. Sometimes I really feel like playing some other games and I started to think about maybe making some Minecraft videos where I either do like a little speed 
iPad, which I don't know if I feel that comfortable with because usually I just play in survival and hope that I won't die immediately to a creeper, which I think would also be really fun because I'm a totally scaredy cat. So whenever there's just like a zombie behind me or a skeleton next to the corner, I'm totally freaking out. And I think that would be kind of fun to see. So let me know if you might want to see that. So back to the bird. Since I don't want your sims to starve to death while they're swimming, they can get some chips at the bar and I thought also that maybe like lockers would be really nice to have downstairs so your sims can like uh, change their clothes and stuff. So I will actually put some of them back in the corner and I also put a little bit of uh, furniture downstairs so your sims can just chill there and maybe wait for like a little bit, li little bit less people <laughs> around the pool so they can get better spots at the sun lounges and stuff like that. So yeah. Since this is a community lot, I will put little exit signs everywhere and now that I'm thinking about it, I think it's been a really really long while since I've been to a public pool, like I'm talking years. It's been really really long, not only because of the pandemic, but also because I'm not that much of a swimmer and usually when I go swimming it's more of a damn it's so hot I can literally do nothing else, might as well go swimming kind of thing and not a oh yeah I really want to go swimming again but this time I really feel like yeah maybe I want to go swimming again see if I can still swim but yeah the build's coming to an end now I'm putting in the island living waterfall again I think it's the third or fourth time I can't tell from my recording but anyways I hope you enjoyed the video I definitely enjoyed making it and yeah I hope I we will see you in the next legacy episode the next one is coming up on sundays and a little bit of a preview we will actually visit this lot in the recording either that or next wednesday when there will be another speed build coming up i will put this build on the gallery as soon as the gallery is up again for me the gallery has been pretty weird lately so fingers crossed everything will go well and you can play with your sims in this pool too anyways i hope you enjoyed and i see you in whichever episode you will watch next bye